Hi, this is K.O. Crafts, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute um, little duct tape keychains. So the supplies you're going to need are some duct tape. Um, I recommend using the ones with patterns like the sports, the U.S. Army, something easy that you can cut out. You're going to need um, either an X-Acto knife, the detailed scissors, or regular scissors. Now, I'm using all three. Um, if you don't have all three, it's okay. But I use these to cut it out from the plastic. I use these to cut the uh, cut out of the duct tape so I can have the perfect um, measurement for the one that's already on the plastic, which you'll see in a moment. And then I use this actually just to cut out the pattern from the duct tape. So, those are the scissors you're going to need. You're going to need some um, pliers, I guess that's what they're called, but they're jewelry pliers. Uh, I have a flat head and a round head. You're going to need a key ring. You're going to need some chain. Now, I recommend this kind because it's very sturdy. You're going to need something to poke your little um, keychain so you can make the hole to put the uh, chain in. So, also you're going to need plastic. Um, you can get plastic basically anywhere. Uh, I got these from Walmart with my IDs in a pack. And um, you can also reuse plastic from packaging like those cupcakes that come for in a package. Um, from Publix, so yeah, I reuse these, so I got a whole bunch of them. So <laughs> let's begin now. You're gonna take your roll of duct tape and you are going to pick which pattern you want. Or for me, I'm gonna pick up the softball, and you want to try to get at least two because you're gonna front and back. And don't try doing like a football and a basketball because that will not work because of the size. You want the same exact size and the same exact thing basically. Um, so now you're going to take either your scissors or your X-Acto knife. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and you're just going to cut right here at the edge so that you have two on a strip and then you're just going to take that duct tape and put it to the side. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take out your two items and you're just going to take either again your scissors or your Zacto knife. I'm using the Zacto knife and you're just going to do this. And when you've got two next to each other be careful because you can use that one if you want. So there's one. And here's the second one. Now it's kind of cut off a little bit. Sorry about that. You'll see in a minute. Do the same thing. And here's the second one. So the next step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pick up one of these and place it on to the plastic. Which I already have one done. And then the next step you're going to need to do is take the other one and actually cut around it with your regular scissors. Um, I do not recommend using those silver ones if you have them because it kind of is hard to cut the duct tape. So um, I recommend using these when you're cutting it exactly out which looks like this when it's done. And then when that is finally done, you're going to want to put this onto this, and you want to line it up. And once that is all lined up, and this is already like all cleaned looking, because you cut this first out, then you do this. It should look something like this. Now I had all these pre-cut ones out so that one um, the tutorial can be a little bit shorter and not too lengthy and also so that I don't make a mistake 
when I lined up these because um, I really like the edges to meet. So it's a very simple tutorial. So, so this is what she looked like now. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your little thumbtack and you're going to just poke it through. Now you're going to pick where you want to put it and I like to put mine right in the middle and I like to just to see which one looks more real looking and I like this side. So I'm just going to take it and kind of poke it right in the middle like that and you're just going to make your little dot and you're just going to poke it right through. Like that. Now, before you do anything, I forgot to mention that you need to kind of trim up the edges a little bit so that you don't really have any like white showing. If you think you still need to trim it up later on, you can. So then what you're going to do next is take your um, pliers and you're going to poke it through that hole so you can make it bigger. So you can put your chain in there and you're going to do both sides so you can actually open it up. Like that. And then you're going to take your chain. Now I like to use about six pieces of this. So, you're going to take it like that, and then you're going to open up only one end. And you are going to um, try to poke it through that hole you made, like that. And then you're just going to close it up. Like that. And then you're just going to kind of twist it in there so that it will be good to go. And then the next step you're going to do is take your key ring that you have and sometimes it's hard to kind of leave it open so I would take your plier thing and stick it in there just to hold it open and you're going to take the other end and you're just going to slide it right on there you're just going to slide it right on there and you're just going to slide it on in and there you have it you have your own little cute little duct tape keychain, and that's how you make those duct tape keychains. Um, there is other ways you can do it. Um, instead of just using like pattern tape that I showed you, you can also do like um, stencils, which I did with these two. And, um, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!